a cute dog here that's breathing down my hands that will make up for it. Did you convince them to just give me one of those dogs? I, no, I, I couldn't, because they really want that money. <laughs> it's almost like it's a business. Uh, or something. Yeah, I don't understand. They're jerks, right? I think that's a messed up business, though, for real. But, you know. Well, uh, I mean, people can't resist, so. Yeah. Uh, um, Let me open up. Are we playing? Are we, are we power washing? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I, I had my heart set on that, so we'd better be. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hey. I'm just a double check kind of guy, you know? Yeah. I appreciate that. Alright, we're going to play this. <laughs> Dog, lie down. Stop. Being a nudge. I I just ran her around for like thirty minutes. <laughs> she shouldn't be energized. It's just us, right? Uh, y yeah. I I don't think Cam is gonna be joining yet. Hasn't. He's not online, so I'll. I mean, I can I can text him because I he'll probably get on a little later. No, that's cool. I was just making sure we were doing career. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. You have to you have to start it before you invite me, right? That's how. Yeah, that's I'm working on it. All right. You get that? Uh, yes. Unable to connect to the host. <laughs> Sick. That's what, we, that's what we'd love to see. <laughs> Alright, let me try manipulating the mainframe. If that doesn't work, I'll fiddle the arc reactor. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Oh, my, my backpack is all up in my feet. Oh, my water. No, I need my water. I've been super dehydrated today. I've also been eating lots of salty things. I had like half a bag of Doritos for dinner, and I'm hating myself now. Uh, because you're hungry? I mean, no, I had unable to connect to host. Nice. What the heck? Alright, let me just exit and reopen it. Yeah, didn't we have to, like, restart the game last time or something? Hey, maybe. You know, time passes so slowly and so quickly at the same time that I have no memory of past events. I feel that. <laughs> I mean, just saying. <laughs> That probably didn't work. Yeah, probably not. Unable to well, that was because I, I did it wrong. Oh. I did it wrong. Oh, alright. Alright, <laughs> let's try this again. Where I actually turn co-op on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unable to connect to the host. Wait a minute. Do I need to restart my game? Let me restart my game. Cause it did something weird when I first... Couldn't hurt. Yeah. It did something weird when I first logged on. Dog, can you lie down? You're making me anxious. 
She's just sitting there beside my chair staring at me. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Did you grow up with pets? Yeah. Yep. We we had do out outside dogs a lot. We never had indoor pets though, other than like a turtle and fish. I still have my turtle. Yeah, I know about the turtle. Yeah. It's ancient. But yeah, other than fish, we didn't have any indoor pets because my brother is uh, horribly allergic. So. Big mood. But we still had indoor pets my whole life. <laughs> I've never not had indoor cats or dogs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm back in. I just suffered through the pain. Yeah, just take your uh, Allegra and, and call it good. Bro, I just take it to the face. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> Processing. Oh, wow. Look, it was me the whole time. Great. At least in the end, you admitted it. That's right. I guess. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing today? Finishing the bungalow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Alright, where's my ladder? <sighs> Wait, I don't remember if I finished. I missed the ladder. I don't remember if I. I missed the ladder again. I don't remember if I. talk about it. Huh? I don't want to talk about it. I don't remember if I finished <coughs> the roof or not. I don't think I did. Let's see, which is the button for the finding dirty things? Right? Right. Which is not working it's for It's not me. working for me either. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know that we can do this without it. Oh no. Hey, it's Arcus! Oh, it works for me now. Holy, the game sounds are so loud. Okay, there we go. Hi, Arcus. Okay. Welcome to the chat. My boy, Don. Wait, is it working for you now? Oh, it's, wor yeah. it's working for me now, too. What? That is so weird. Hey, man. What? Wait a minute, bro. This is a vibing game. That's right. Glitches are just part of the vibe. That's right. We, no, no need to worry about it. Just, just clean stuff. <laughs> Have you ever played a simulated game without glitches? I mean, no. In all honesty, I have not. <laughs> Purposeful or not? Yeah. So what? Have you Have you seen the trailer for um, Goat Simulator Three? I have not. <laughs> they revealed it at like Gamescom or something. I don't know, some recent conference. Uh, there isn't a Goat Simulator 2. Wait, wait what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know how Goat Simulator is from like that lol random era of the internet? Yeah. I guess they're still running with that. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, there's a cat over there. I think we found him last time, didn't we? Yep. I can't reach oh him. Oh my now. gosh, there's a hole in the wall! <laughs> Bro, don't tell me the back isn't done. I mean, okay, just relax because I can't. I It says the roof is only 81% clean, and I cannot for the life of me find anything dirty on this thing. Is it like the gutters or what? No, can't be the gutters. No, the gutters are different. Yeah. All right. Coming. 
Well, you had to go inside. <laughs> There's power on the inside. Poor troop. Actually, that might... Wait. No, I just tried. Okay. Well. I can't use the ladders in this game, dude. I know. I just I, walked I, off it I, like three I, times in a row. I have walked off it probably twice. Help me. Just use a step stool. Wait, what? The porch roof is clean now, apparently? The roof is clean? No, the porch roof. Oh. Uh, Alright, I made it. Easy. First try. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Wait a minute, I just Chimney's have to Chimney's done. Go for the chimney. Yeah. It says bungalow roof is completed to me. What? No. Oh, yep. I think you're right. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just work on this wall then. All right. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. Oh, you want to talk about it? Uh, on stream. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's dangerous. Um. <laughs> well, okay. So you see, um. There are these coworkers, you know, and um, oh. and and sometimes they can be uh, difficult. And oh. um, today w was an especially difficult um, day for them giving me trouble. Uh huh. And. Um, it just it happens to the best of us. It's it's okay. I'll I'll get through it and uh, it'll be fine. Well, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I am, you know, considering <laughs> talking to someone at a certain workplace. Yeah about coming back. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, they'd probably be all about that right now because it's such a, it's so hard to find good workers right now. <laughs> she would Yeah. I mean, they they would def prob definitely jump on that. <laughs> Not assuming genders or uh. anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Let's go. We'll see. Yeah. I gotta think about it. Yeah. They say that they have competitive uh, pay now. Yeah. My pay isn't particularly competitive, but that's beside the point. There are so many people. What? Oh, never mind. What? Okay, this is hard when you're streaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. And the, the the worst part is somebody that I work with definitely watches my streams sometimes. Uh, uh. Yeah. Anyway. It's okay. They share some similar thoughts, so it's not the worst. Uh. They definitely share some thoughts with me, so. Uh oh. So that's okay. Gotcha. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they showed up in my chat. Probably not now, because I think they were at a rental tonight. Mm. Wait, is this... This window frame is so picky. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You had to get under it, too. Yeah. Got it. Oh my gosh. There's so much. 
Wait, how are we 93% done? It feels like it, oh, okay. It's okay. just the back okay. of the house. Relax. Okay. It's just the back of the bungalow. Okay. Alright. Say back of the bungalow ten times fast. Back of the bungalow, 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 back of the bungalow. I like it, it's good beat. Ten was a lot. Yeah. No yeah. wonder people say three. Yeah. Or five. I'm sorry, that that was kind of mean, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that was really, you really set me up for failure, I man. I did. Probably because what I thought of, it was going to be an easy friend? one. I thought it was going to be an easy one. Oh, yeah. That wall was not clean yet, but <laughs> you gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it is running me through it on these fence posts. Mm. Oh, I see. I see you. I, I can't reach that. How am I supposed to reach that? Bruh. I can't, I can't, I'm not Flat Stanley. I can't get back there. Bruh. Got it, okay, we're good. I'm fine. Man, these window reflections are kind of trippy. Like, if you just look at the window and, like, walk back and forth. Hey! Hey! This is my window. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? You looking it at the like windows? It flips when you get close. Yeah. It's actually, oh, okay, it's actually making me sick. I can't look at that. My Doritos might come back up. Oh, thanks for sharing. Yeah, I, I knew that you wanted you that. The wall. What? I'll do the door, you finish the wall. Okay. Do you realize you're... What? I'm waiting on you. No, 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 like, you get where I was. Never mind. Never mind. Do what you're doing. I'm just being a, a midget cleaning the wall. even close but all right hey bro we take those we take those <laughs> oh man <laughs> making See? money not finished but oh man we're down he's giving us the list yeah baby the checklist oh, the picky the list, list. Spam the right arrow. How much of these do we have to get? There. And then post. Oh no, which post? Which post? Posts are also the corners of the house. Well, I'm looking for anything that glows orange. Oh, 
Wait. Yeah. Got it. Easy. Yeah, let's play soccer. Easy. You got ready? Bet you can't score on me. Bet you can't score on me. Wait. Ugh, dying in the middle fun. Yeah. Yeah. Scored. Yeah. 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 I scored. Alright, All right, turn it in so we can watch our, our replay. I'm gonna run. I'm sure you're gonna pause now. Alright. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, you? Play? Yeah, look at me going to town on that roof. <laughs> Nice. What did I do for a little bit? You, <laughs> I just disappeared. You, you must have been doing the whole back of the house or something. All right, go for it. <laughs> Continue. All right. Clean the detached house. Uh, sure. So we're done. It's even bigger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> what? Apparently, my uh, my mom packed one of my shirts for my dad while they're at the conference. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. What conference? Um, it's a. They call it a buy fair, like B-U-Y fair. Um, it's basically, wow, this sucker is filthy. Holy. Um, <laughs> the driveway, too. Oh, no, bro. All right, well, you know, part of the driveway. you know what my job is. Um, anyway, so basically he... Uh, he goes and, and talks to like the dealers for GE and, uh, and there are a whole bunch of other uh, dealers there as well so uh, mm -hmm. it's in it's in Texas right uh, this time it kind of moves around sometimes so sometimes it's in mm -hmm. um, Knox Knoxville sometimes it's in Florida um, sometimes it's in Texas a lot of times it was in Las Vegas too Yo, Don, are you still watching? No? Okay. <laughs> this game is low-key fun, though. Yo, Don, do you have Game Pass? I don't remember. <coughs> Give me my, where's my phone stand? Okay. Two months of it. Alright. I was just curious, because I know this game is on Game Pass. Or, I think it is, right? Right, Jacob? Yeah. yeah. That's all I have it. It always serves me off because it's always like, um, it shows me all of the games in my library, and it's like, you have over 300 games. And I'm like, oh, yeah! 
And, oh, I actually only have like six because I can't pass. <laughs> you don't really own anything in the modern uh, economy. Yeah, pretty much. Entertainment economy. Yep. I mean, you basically don't. Last time you bought a movie. Oh man. Um, a physical movie. I don't know, actually. It was. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was probably a gift for someone else. Honestly, it wasn't even for me. Probably. So I just generally don't buy. Well, especially like movies for myself. Yeah, it's um. We don't own anything. <laughs> what? We don't own anything. No. Because everything's like streaming. Yeah. You pay for the privilege of of watching it a few times until you until either the streaming service dies like Netflix is or <laughs> you know something else well even like things you buy digitally like I bought um a movie on Xbox what if one day Microsoft gets taken down or something yeah then you don't get to watch it. Access. Yep. Yeah. See, that's kind anyway. of one of the crazy things <laughs> that the technology oh, has. Of... What? Sorry. <laughs> that's one of the crazy Sorry, things that that technology has done to the world. Like, I if you think about it, in in ten years. We aren't going to have, like, physical copies of anything. Like, right. books, uh, movies, TV shows, audio. Like, we already are at that stage, but, like, there won't be anyone making the ways of selling or uh, of playing those other things. It's all going to be digital. Right. Heck, it might even be built into, like, some, s some brain... Uh, wired in junk playing directly into our eardrums or something. I don't know. It's crazy stuff. Yo, we should make this into a podcast. <laughs> Cleaning the mind with Jacob and Matt. <laughs> 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 podcast market is too saturated it, super, it seriously is it's same with like the YouTube like I mean if you think about it it is super hard to become a content creator now because there are just so many people that do content creation especially Dude. what yes have you ever been on TikTok Oh, pfft, no, but I know there are a lot of people there. Dude, it's mind-blowing. Yeah, I'm only, like, on a couple of sides of TikTok. I don't use it that much. Yeah. But, like, oh, my goodness. Uh, are there a lot of content creators there? Dude, it's, there's, like, thousands. That's nuts. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many. But it feels like everyone does. Like, I have. I actually know somebody who, who gets paid from TikTok as well. I would never look at their I content. Don't know but who gets <laughs> I, I don't know anybody who gets paid from TikTok. Yeah. I know people, but I know several people who have posted them. Yeah. Yeah, Don says that, that practically all the YouTubers upload to TikTok now, too. 
Yeah, musicians do, celebrities. Yeah. That's crazy. And just like random people who want to do dances. Oh, or yeah. Or who are good at a certain skill. Uh, yeah. Who like, I'm part of Lego Star Wars TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> That's not judgy. I'm just like you. You definitely would. Because I mean, I oh. would too. But <laughs> it's pretty crazy, man. It's just like people showing off their collections, or like there's a dude who does like news about Legos. Oh my word. Lego sets coming out and stuff. Um, yeah, it's just it's, it's silly. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, all I say, like, there's just only being on one side of TikTok and seeing a ton of creators make me think about all the other sides that I'll never see. Yeah. All right. See you, Don. Thanks for coming. Yeah, and you know what I was thinking um, earlier? So, uh, you know how I, I said Netflix um, and, and you know, what, what they're doing? You know, they were like the original movie streaming service. And yeah. the crazy thing is, now that almost all of the, like, the major movie production companies have their own streaming service... YouTube is, or not YouTube, um, Netflix is going to get, like, pushed out. Because now they, they don't have anyone selling content because they're going to have their own exclusive uh, subscription services and stuff. Like, Netflix is going to go down. That's crazy. Yeah, but I mean... I don't know, they, they didn't keep up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I think they they had the corner of the market when it was just new, and so none of the, none of the like, the uh, movie production companies had the infrastructure to do what they were doing, and so they just signed with Netflix and said, all right, yeah, you can have access to uh, these titles. Um, and then, right. and then, like whatever contract they had ran out, and now they're th those. And now everybody has their own streaming service. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and I'm sure there are some that are still like signed on with Netflix that haven't made their own. Like I'm pretty sure Warner Brothers still hasn't made their own. Um. So like the Harry Potters and stuff. Are, are They're on HBO. Oh, that's right. You're right. They are on HBO, aren't they? Huh. Yeah. Whoops, I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is hard to aim. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> it's so spraying you. I can't um, actually. Yo. There we go. Right. I'm intimidated by how big this is right now. It's fine. We can we can uh we can we're we're just talking. We're chilling. We're vibing. If we treat this like a podcast, we'll get through it, man. <laughs> All right. What well, what other topics we got? Life what are the hot just, topics? Life is just one big fat podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Bro, I've d <laughs> I've done one side of this r roof dormer. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've only done the little bricks on the sides. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, let's see. You want to talk about the economy? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, we can. 
<laughs> nah. Let's see. Let's pick something better. We got we got we got better things. Um oh, hey, I know. Um did you see uh that what what's his name? Ryan Johnson or whoever was in charge of the the last Jedi um gave his thoughts on the 5 year anniversary? Uh-uh. All right. So I'll I'll summarize it. Basically, he was saying he likes it even better now than when he first released it. Um, yeah. And he said in that in that interview that basically he was trying to uh, reach the. Uh, let's see, how did he say it? Like the essence of the Star Wars fan community. And like, it it was basically meant to be an allegory for what the what the fan base has has been through or something like that. And I was like, Yeah, what? I, I I don't I don't know. I know you liked that movie. I didn't particularly. I didn't think it fit anywhere in the in the real universe because they they basic basically. Um, it, it was just filler between seven and nine to me. I mean, there. I I, I love eight. <laughs> yeah. What do you like best about it, j just in general? I like how it it makes you face. Uh. <clears throat> the sorry <laughs> it makes you face like the hubris of the Jedi and stuff and it breaks down how they're the reason that the Empire came to be and it makes it it, it opens up wow this one was not clean yet <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> let me clean this garage door while I'm here um call. so it just I don't know why I'm incoherent tonight <laughs> um I don't know. I like how it subverts a lot of things for the Star Wars uh, canon. And I like that Luke didn't just like watch his whole temple get murdered and then move on with his life like, hey, whatever. Yeah. You know? I I, I like was it really impacted him. Yeah, I was kind of appreciative that it it was um it crushed him. Yeah. Cuz if there's one thing that we love is uh, it's our heroes being really really sad. Yeah. Cuz <laughs> cuz it's relatable. Mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah. We're all sad. It is. I mean, we are. I mean, think about what I mean. We live in a fallen world, man. Humanity is is broken by nature. Yeah. And it is way obvious. But you know, sometimes. Bro, come here. What? Well, 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 I'm. I'm. But. <laughs> okay, come here. You gotta. Did you draw something? Well, accidentally I drew a red one. Yeah. But look, there's. Paw prints. Looks like a raccoon. <laughs> I feel like the guy from Over the Hedge. Snake, possum, squirrel. Are you are you stealing my? Are you taking away my? No. 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 Those are the last things we're cleaning up. Okay. D draw around them then. Okay. Uh oh. Um. Uh, hold uh -oh. on a second. Mm. 
very odd, but Ryan's coming to borrow my chainsaw. It's kind of strange and random. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> At like nine, nine o'clock? Uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, on the flip side, though, I think that uh, in some ways uh, uh, we like our cinema to be an escape from reality and not necessarily carry undertones of the real life burdens that we carry, you know? Yeah. So, like, I think that was one of the m the magical things of, of the Star Wars universe. It had its own troubles, but they weren't, like, necessarily re super relatable to uh, our, our current troubles of, of the world. It, it's like, um, it, it's different. We we got to be in in someone's shoes in a uh, an exciting exciting world of, of adventure and and r risks we can we could take risks with those d people without uh, and, and experience the risks without actually you know being in them and and it's kind of like a it feels like a cleansing i guess from the real real world, you know. I mean, I guess, but like, stormtroopers were Nazis, you know. Like from a certain point of view. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say from like Lucas's point of view. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, uh. Like, Star Wars is based off of real life in a lot of ways. Oh, yeah. Lucas did a really good job so, of creating that universe. And it's a deep universe, too. Like, it is nuts. Yeah. And that's not all, yeah. At oh. This point. Yeah, I, I know. Okay, that was generous. <laughs> 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 I had a patch the size of my dog. <laughs> That I hadn't touched. <laughs> Alright. That's funny. Alright, I got the garage roof. Alright, so oh. dormer, fascia, windows. Good, good, good. Windows, fascia. Alright. I think this whole side roof is good. I'm going to move on to the next roof over. Can you let me down, please? Alright. I don't know. I really, I, I, I like, I like it a lot when the characters are more relatable. Cause like, not, cause even, even your favorite hero can be fallible, you know? Yeah. And, and, I feel like if they had run with more of the themes in episode 9 from 8, I think they could have opened up a pathway for, like, a new era of Force users. Yeah. You know? But instead, they went back to just, well, <laughs> you know, they went back to just the same old. Um, and I mean, in nine undercut so many of eight um, choices about everything. Yeah. About Ray being nobody. Yeah, they did definitely backpedal a lot. 
Like, it was, it was they insane. It felt like a slap in the face to her. Freaking you know? Daisy Ridley didn't even know who she was until the script said told her to say those words in nine. She had no clue. She I know. was acting her best, and people rip on her, and it drives me nuts. Like, yo, yeah. that poor girl, that actress, was confused as all get out. She had no idea. She was more it's confused just, than we were. And it's like, well, what, what was the point? Because Nine is like my least favorite by a mile. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it, so many reasons. I mean, I could I could rant for <laughs> hours on on Nine. Yeah. Like starting from the freaking scroller. Somehow Palpatine returned. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you get the get out of here. That isn't in the scroller. But yeah. It is. It literally is. It's the first line of the scroller. It doesn't say somehow. It says um. Oh, it says it says something. You're right. Palpatine. It said it says something about um the the voices echoing through the, the through the galaxy <laughs> yeah. and and some somehow the Palpatine. Dead, the dead yeah. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> freaking <laughs> ruined Star Wars. Nine, me, dude. dude, me too. <laughs> if if we could like, somehow make nine be like an alternate reality, like Marvel has been doing, that would be great. And just somehow no! clean it all up. Did it take your paw prints away? Yes. Oh, bro. I'm sorry. I'm on my knees. <laughs> <laughs> no, the precious paw prints. <laughs> the first, like, three minutes, or five minutes, maybe, looking at the shop, trying to find something to make this easier for us. Yeah. Just like a a, g a gigantic brush or something, or like a better power washer, or better equipment or something. Yeah. But like a fire uh, engine, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh. Just buy an old fire engine with the with the hose on it. <laughs> Dude, that'd be awesome. I am gonna spend some money though. Okay. Spend it wisely. Somehow Palpatine returned. Like, yo, Vader died for nothing. Dude. And how did Vader not know that that was going to happen if, if, you know, he, he, surely he would have known because he was his apprentice. And, well, I guess it kind of makes sense that Palpatine would purposefully keep that stuff from him. Oh, yeah. Just known about the clones? Yeah, yeah, about the different versions of Palpatine that he was making and stuff. Surely he knew about that research. Nah. You don't think? Nah. I think Palpatine had, like, his... I mean, I've heard I the th like the theory before that Palpatine purposefully gave Vader inferior um, me mechanisms after he got hurt. Yeah, to kind of that, keep yeah. him at bay because he was so powerful. Right. So to keep him in his in his, in the palm of his hand, he he purposefully like handicapped him and just yeah. used him as a tool. Yeah, so why would he tell him? Yeah, you're right. Yes, I know there's somebody here. Relax. What? Dog. <laughs> Like, all up in my grill, trying to sit in my lap and stuff. 
There's somebody Ooh. downstairs. Yes, I know. I, there wasn't hey. anyone down there earlier. Yes, I know you hear things. Lie down. Yes, that's a garage door. I think the part I didn't like about um, eight w was all of the all of the side quest stuff that it, I I felt was in there. Like it it was like the, I didn't particularly care for the gambling world stuff. I didn't particularly care for the forced Rose Rose is that even her name Rose Finn yeah. thing. Like, that just felt, I was like, oh, wow, hey, look, Disney's at the reins of this one. <laughs> um, Cancer Bite has one of my favorite pieces of Star Wars yep. music ever. Yep, I, I do remember you saying that, and I, I agree. That is some baller music. It's like, <laughs> it... Well, it, it's it's like Cuban. It's got a, a steel drum band, man. Yeah. And it's got a a drive. It's nice. Uh, it will um. never it will never be in the same category as the obviously the like the luscious um, harmonies of of the the more melancholy themes, but it's in its own. I. It's it's in its own world, pretty much. It's kind of in the same league as the Cantina, I ironically, or I, I guess unironically, rightly so. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's literally a, a Cantina planet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. Did John write um, the the music for eight? He didn't for seven. I don't think. He's written the, the, for every movie. Every number of movie. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought that he had said that he wasn't going to do one of them. No, he's done... I think he's done every single... Me. Okay. Skywalker song. And yeah, okay. <sighs> um... Dude, I saw a take on Twitter that made me so mad the other day. Oh boy. Let's hear it. Okay. Someone was saying that, um, hey Matt, I'm afraid that you're going to agree with them. I might. I might. But that's, that's <laughs> what makes, that would, that's what makes friendship strong. There's always got to be some debate, you know? <laughs> okay. Someone said that, um, that Natalie Holt, who did the, is it Natalie Holt who did the music for Obi-Wan? Oh, I don't remember. Whoever did the music for Obi-Wan, basically they, they didn't do a good job, and they announced who was doing the music for Andor. Oh, yeah. And they were making judgments about it before it even came out. Uh, what? And they were like, <laughs> they were like, uh, Star Wars music needs to, um, they're basically saying, you know what, let me, let me find it. I don't want to misquote. Misquote, yeah. I'll read the whole thing. Okay. The original tweet is Andor showrunner Tony Gilroy wants to create a new musical vocabulary with Nicholas Br Brito's score. 
Then someone says, waiting until I hear the music to comment, but this quote sounds like yet another disgraceful and disrespectful decision from the filmmakers to ruin the Star Wars sound. If you don't want your Star Wars project to sound like Star Wars, then don't work on Star Wars. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I don't know. This one could go either way for me. Because here's uh, all right. I'll, I'll let you go first. I'll let you go first. Okay. If you don't let, the, like, okay, John Williams is what me what made me love orchestral music. Agreed. Um. In many ways, he's the only orchestral music that I actually like. Yeah. <laughs> well, film film score orchestral music. He he's what what really made it what it is. Yeah, yeah. Are you a fan? Yeah. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you don't let Star Wars evolve. And this is what I like about eight too. It wanted mm -hmm. it, it made Star Wars want to evolve. Yeah. Um. If you don't let it, then it's you're stuck making the same movies and TV shows for the next, you know, however long until people just stop watching. Yeah. They get tired of seeing lightsabers for the sake of seeing them. You know? Yeah, they they lose their wonder. Yeah, so if you don't let uh, new sounds enter into the Star Wars landscape, you know, I mean, why why wouldn't you? You know, you can <laughs> you can have orchestral music in one place, but then like you could do like diegetic music it, more. Yeah. Where you're in a different planet and you're hearing like some fusion of like Southwest Indian and like I don't know African music. I don't know. Yeah. African is. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Like, um. Because I did see a lot of w different worlds in the Andor uh, trailers. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't watched the trailers, but yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um. <laughs> I got all those. Yeah, I just, and then to like already be putting down the composer before you even heard their work. Yeah, that definitely is is not justified. You you just can't do that. That's that's not something that you do in the professional world. Yeah. Hey, what do you think? Like, what? Like, do you think that it should stick to like the? All right. So here's my thing. Um, one of the things I appreciated when they started doing spin-off series was how, how the sound design was still very much, um, Star Wars sounds in many ways had been enhanced by better technology, which I really appreciated. Um, and I'm, I'm speaking of sound design in general, not necessarily just music at this point. Um, yeah. but a, a large part of the the sound design of a movie or or film or or like um, series is the the f the score that goes behind it because without a score uh, it loses a lot of the interest and um, excitement you know that you can watch the asteroid field scene um, from five without music and it's like what are they doing right yeah um. However, the uh, 
the 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 new spin-off shows I, I don't necessarily think that they okay hold on a second I need to go grab this ladder um, I don't think they did the best job of having uh, music because a lot of times they made it try they made it or they tried to make it too much like the original movie and then it just it, it, it ruined it for me a little bit um, because they they tried to copy John Williams and it's like oh wow look they tried to copy John Williams um, and I didn't appreciate that um, I would have rather had them do their own style so for example um, some of the best music I think of a spin-off movie or show was what Michael Giacchino did in um, Rogue w did he do Rogue One I think it's Rogue One yeah that is some of the finest uh, spin-off show music and it's it's just Star Wars enough to me that I absolutely love it but he did his own thing and I really appreciated that um, and I, I don't think I really even uh, other than the Mandalorian theme uh, I don't think any of the other m well no that's not true I can hum the main theme from a couple of the other spin-off shows. Like I can hum I can hum the Bad Batch B theme and sometimes the A theme. But I had the B theme stuck in my head the other day and it just like something reminded me of it and I couldn't figure out what it was for like a solid 3 or 4 days. I was like this is stuck in my oh, head. Uh, I I was playing it like in trumpet warm-ups. I like I I was trying to figure out what it was so much and I, it finally decided it was the it was the omega theme from bad batch um <laughs> but uh like i i'm more than happy for it to go other directions um and and i guess it kind of boils down to what what style of show is this going to be is this going to be like a you know the good bad and the ugly kind of music where it's like, you know, kind of Western, because I know he's supposed to be a ruthless, um, like, get get it done at all costs kind of a guy. Um, so, uh, uh, maybe a little bit of a rebel scum, you know, uh, Han Solo, f uh, not following anyone's orders kind of thing. Uh, or, or at least we get to see that development of, of some sort. So, I... I don't know. It it kind of depends on where they're gonna go with it, but yeah, um, I'm kind of neutral, I guess. See, I love the Mandalorian score. Oh yeah. Like, uh, Lumen Gorenson, the guy who did it. Yeah. Is a great musician overall. Yeah. He oh. Works with some the instrument uh, pairing in in that theme is amazing like because yeah. because of timbres um that that gets into a whole separate rabbit hole but what in music there are certain pairings of instruments that work really well and there's some people that just can find those th oh that was generous um that that find those timbres and make them work together and it's amazing like y you know there's a really cool theme that um thing that John Williams did several times uh, it was piccolo and tuba pairing together playing together like in in unison but octaves apart and it was really cool and really powerful um and i think the mandalorian did a good job of that too it was it's like um penny whistle and just brass and percussion and it's awesome It, it, I think it does have some like um, electric strings, like guitar and stuff too, like maybe electric bass or something. Um. I remember watching the the like the Marine Band play it, and it was like recorders and penny whistles, and then electric bass, uh, and then a whole crap ton of trombones. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. They, like seriously, you should uh, you should go see. They released it during like the 
during the pandemic at some point. It is a, it is amazing. You, I think you'd really enjoy that because they did the entire theme. Oh. Have I ever told you that, or did you ever know that the Marine Band has a live stream on YouTube every Sunday at two o'clock? Is it every Sunday now? Yeah. I know that they did it. They started doing it with more regularity um, during the pandemic, but I wasn't sure if they actually kept doing it or not. They've been doing it every Sunday for years. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe I just found it during the pandemic because I wasn't doing anything else on Sundays. <laughs> they love to like chamber concerts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I listened to a couple, um, like, over the summer of, um, it was like, um, oh, I, I remember watching the brass, like, it's like a double brass quintet doing some Gabrielli. Oh, my word, uh -huh. dude. I wish I could play like those guys. Bro, in my, in my heart, you can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> we, cause, cause, uh, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. We started doing some Christmas music uh, uh, at rehearsal for quintet yesterday mo night, or last night, uh, yesterday evening. There we go, bro. <laughs> I was on the struggle bus. <laughs> we were sight reading it. I'd never seen any of those arrangements before, and I was just stumbling through it. It's like. Half of them are are like swinging like they like they just took all manner of random Christmas pieces, put a swing to it, and and called it a quintet arrangement. And I was like, "Bro, I can't swing." <laughs> wow, that is awful. You gotta learn to swing, man. I know, I know. I'm very fond of saying I swing like a rusty gate, man. It's it's true. Wait, how come this, the porch doesn't have its own roof category? That's kind of weird. Huh. Oh, I'm missing part of the fascia? What? Oh. Wooden trim. I think I'm missing part of this side. parkour do you follow me on twitch um uh, maybe Let me look I heard the get on twitch now yeah I only go on for like a couple things uh, other than you know obviously my own stream alright Ballistics Jelly. What's your name? Ballistics Jelly. All one word. Man, there's a huge gap here in the in the gutter. You look like you, face. What? <laughs> What'd you say? So let me look like you, face. Oh, Yo, it's scruffy right now. I haven't shaved in a couple days. And shaggy, holy. My hair is so long. I I would have made my mom cut it, but I, I forgot before she left for the conference. And I was like, ah, man, 
now I gotta wait a week. Dang. Yeah. Like they're coming back on Thursday, man. I'm gonna have to wait till like Saturday before I get a haircut. You'll be alright. You got this. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to like start wearing a uh, baseball cap or something. <laughs> just tuck it up underneath. Uh. Embrace it, dude. Just tie it up on your chest. That's right. That's right. You were some of a man bun. Oh, I don't know that I could. I don't know that I have enough for a bun. I have enough for like a ponytail on top, but like the sides I keep pretty short. Mm. You know, sometimes I wish I could let my facial hair grow a little bit more. But, like, it's, it doesn't grow well enough for me to actually, like, let it go for any length of time. Yeah. Like, I don't like the bald spots that I have. It's annoying. It makes me look like a conquista conquistador or something. So I've just got uh, bald spots, like, between my mustache and my goatee. Uh, where is there a spot for the fascia? What? On? Hello? Pick up? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, uh. Yeah, I, I really feel that, that issue is the facial hair, man. Uh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> It took a while to grow what I have. Yeah, but you're you're like the same age as me. Wait, are you younger than I am? I can't remember. I think so. Yeah, only by a couple months though. That's yeah, cause your birthday's in December of '97. Yeah. Yeah, and mine's June of '98. Yeah. Bro, there is no way there's still dirt on this. Is that... Bro, no way. <laughs> Where? Oh, um, did you see uh, about the moon rocket? Wait. Sure. <laughs> Glad it's working <laughs> for you. Send some of that luck up here. Um, did you see that uh, Artemis 1 didn't launch on Monday? Uh, I don't know how to keep up with the rocket. So... This one's actually pretty exciting because they've been working on this one since the shuttle program ended. Um, uh huh. And it's like, um, well, unfortunately, it's a bit of a money hole because uh, they. As most rocket okay. rockets are. Yeah. Well. Well. Get this. So. <laughs> so they they built this new rocket, right? That's supposed to be uh -huh. based on the old shuttle launch system. And they they made this rocket, the, the first variation of it, and they they have a second version that's going to be needed for like building this the moon space station and um, and for putting I, I guess also launching humans to the moon again. And um, yeah, that rocket, it's six meters taller than the uh, the first version, and or or something like that. And all of the umbilicals are in different places, so they have to build an entire new gantry system f just for the mm. the second version of this rocket. Dang. Yeah, it it's like yo, y'all couldn't have planned ahead for that and like put the umbilicals in the same places, like. Really? <laughs> uh, but uh, but it is it is really cool because it's it's NASA's first 
foray into into the space again since the shuttle program ended like over 10 years ago which is kind of nuts that it's actually been that long cuz i i watched the last launch and it was like i was in high school still <laughs> So anyway, it's supposed to be scheduled for um, Friday, if all goes well. The The next launch window is Friday afternoon, I think. So keep, keep your eyes out. Um, like for live streams and stuff. The guy that I really like watching is um, NASA Space Flight. And they do... They do I guess they call them multicasts or something like that, um, where they uh, take some of or borrow some of the feeds from NASA with their permission, um, and like do a kind of an amateur um, what uh, live stream about them. It's pretty cool because they because a lot of the times you get some really good information without all of the NASA jargon, and it like simplifies it a lot s into understandable palatable sp um, chunks <laughs> pieces no that makes sense yeah our um well the the Cintas guy that services my dad's store with the uniforms um is a really big space geek and um, he's all excited because um, he he leaves after work on Thursday, and he's gonna drive down, and he and a buddy are gonna like camp out on the beach uh, Thursday night um, and all day Friday, because <laughs> of the long weekend. So he's he's all excited. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. I applied to to be um like on their like they they invite some content creators to come in mm -hmm. and like watch from the press site and do like special tours and all manner of events. I want to say you told me about that. I think I did. I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't ever hear. Uh, my channel's too small, I guess. Birdus, thank you for the follow. That's way late, but I, I, I yeah, I'm, that was so late, dude. I'm offended. I'm gonna take back that follow. All right, relax, relax, relax. So whoa, there's an alien symbol on this. What? I wanna see. Where are you? Uh, the right side of the house. Oh wow. Are you sure it's not a spatula trying to lift a dumbbell? Uh, okay, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now that you brought that to my attention. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cleanable? Oh, yeah, it comes off. Dang it. More stuff to clean. Yeah, uh, unbelievable. Yeah, I, I need to, <laughs> I need to take a drink too. <sighs> All right, me back in three. Buy a break. Good on your ears. You got to feel good on your ears. Hmm. Do you have an ear infection? I don't even know how. I have to tell. I don't know how to tell if you have an ear infection or not. I don't know. I have a big pink nose.
a girl. Yes, I know. Yes, yes, I know. Stop dating a microwave, please. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Stop it. Go lie down. Go lie down. Good girl. No, go lie down. That's not lying down. Lie down. Soccer dude for real, thank you. She, unfortunately, she's not mine. She's my sister's, but I'm dog sitting for her right now. Um, but she still loves me. She's adorable. She is a a bur a let's see a Bernadoodle. So she is a an F. 1B Bernadoodle breed. What? How was that clean? That wasn't even close to being clean. Okay. Lie down. Go, go. Lie down. Go lie down. Yeah. My, uh, my sister does dog breeding she's like a a host for uh, like the the female dogs um during in a breeding program so basically you get a a free pet and the the breeder pays for all of the vet bills and um i get i think they still have to pay for the dog food probably but like all of the vet bills and then they get to split the cost of the or the price of the puppies 50 50 so these these kinds of bernadoodles sell for about thirty eight hundred dollars each i think so half of that and then times 11 puppies is what this her most recent litter was it is actually nuts um this one hasn't been bred yet, but apparently, um, sometimes the if there are multiple female dogs in a household, and one of the female dogs has uh, puppies, the the one without puppies can be a threat to the to the puppies. It can be uh, aggressive, and and I guess sometimes kill them. So, the to be on the safe side, they just um, let let me keep her for a few weeks yeah welcome back. back hello welcome back hey i've got an alien symbol over here on this side of the house too Ooh. Ooh, where uh it's o over here on the red part on the back porch yo soccer dude for real what topic should we talk about next we're doing this like podcast style. What you got? If you're still here. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he at least dropped in to say that my dog's cute. So. True. <laughs> <laughs> She's super sweet. Sweetest temperament oh. ever on these dogs, though. Really? Oh, yeah. Dude, there's this kid who's like six years old who is crazy on production software. Like, he is making his own and making and mixing his own songs at six years old. Really? Yeah. Like, listen to this. Can you hear it? Yeah. 
My goodness. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead to where you can hear the full track. Six year old man. Whoa, that's like, wild. Obviously, he's got gibberish. Yeah, he's got more uh, more creative juices in that brain than I did as a as a college music student. <laughs> he's got more than I do now. <laughs> <laughs> what, Coco? Go lie down. It's amazing that we're not taking any paint off of this house as we clean it. <laughs> mm. Too bad. <laughs> it needs a good paint job. Yeah, it's pretty ugly. Yeah. Bro, in, it, in today's market, how much do you think this house would sell for? This looks like a, mm. like a one-acre lot. Looks like a nice subdivision. Uh, probably, uh, let's see, hold on. Let me do a quick quick uh, run around here. Looks like probably a three bed, uh, probably three bed, two and a half bath maybe. Uh, one car garage, uh, fence backyard. Uh, yeah. Pro probably about it. What do you think? Where? Where? Uh, let's say this is... Um, these are some big plots. So let's say this is like someplace... Um, like one of those giant subdivisions off of uh, Highway 14. How about that? Look at the size of this street, man. Holy. You could have like an entire basketball pickup game up in here <laughs> you have you have a basketball goal over there and right here you can have a full court game going holy smokes let me say 450 yeah i was gonna say probably in this neighborhood probably half uh, half a million easy i've seen a lot worse go for a lot more yeah Bro, the maniacs. Thought, but if you had said like, if you had said like California, it would have been like three million. Oh yeah, <laughs> true, true. You know, there, there. Somebody bought the eight acres next to my parents' property. Um, uh, a few, I guess it was like a year and a half ago, maybe for like a hundred and eighty thousand, and they like way overpaid for it. Like they overbid mm -hmm. like crazy just to make sure they got it. And it changed hands again recently. They sold all eight acres for like two hundred and wow, okay, uh, two hundred and I think it was like thirty thousand or something like that. Mm. They chopped off like um a couple acres of it and cleared it. And now they're trying to sell, like, another, I guess, I think it's, like, three acres for, like, 245000 And, like, there's not even enough room. It, and it, it, it's, it's not, it doesn't even have road frontage. Like, it's, it's like the back half of the property. Wow. Yeah. And, and the, the, the little stick that goes out to the road doesn't it, it's not even wide enough for a driveway it's kind of nuts like uh -huh. the, the kind of crap that people are getting away with now is just dumb because when they first when they first started clearing we had you remember when i said i had to get the um the fire department out here several times 
Yeah. Yeah, those those guys. <laughs> so. <laughs> Not the brightest bulbs in the box. <laughs> Not not the sharpest knives in the drawer. Not the uh, not the prettiest crayon in the box. Oh, you know what? Did I? Oh. Huh. That's Yo. A what? Oh my gosh, that's massive. What is? <laughs> Skate park. Oh, are you looking at the next ones? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. A shoe house and a skate park. I want to do the shoe house first. Shoe house? Man, they're getting huge. Or at least it sounds huge. It's like a house shaped like a shoe. Oh, I was thinking like a like a shoe like a shoe carnival or something. <laughs> what? Shoe carnival? Oh, like a store. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Do you think humans are killing the environment? 100%. Do you think it's as bad as they say? Yes. Do you think electric vehicles will help? Minutely, yes. But I think it's mainly corporations polluting that's the biggest issue. Yeah. And they try to pin it on the individual. Mm -hmm. But in all reality, 90, 95% of pollution is caused by five corporations. Yeah. So it really needs to come down to government regulation over, over those corporations. That's probably the most sane take on that I have ever heard. Because, like, yeah, yeah uh, like, I, I think definitely we can do things better. You know, obviously, there are, there are inefficiencies. Reduce, recycle, like, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but, but as far as it coming down to the individuals and the, the everyday class citizens, no. We're not really making that much of a difference on the footprint. You know? Um and and even if you take all of the cars into into account i i don't think we can even touch the amount that the corporations are dumping yeah and and the unfortunate thing is people are going to try to compensate with their electric vehicles and stuff and the reality is we don't have the infrastructure to support that yet like battery technology has improved a lot in the last 10 years but it is nowhere near where it needs to be to even combat that. Yeah. Tesla is doing a great job of uh, of developing those technologies um, to to make them more usable. Like their their battery technology has been amazing. Um, but like until we're able to go as far as um, we can with with gas vehicles in the same amount of time as gas vehicles it's not going to be practical 
like you can you can go across the country in a few days driving you know constantly and just filling up at a station every you know a every time you need to and if you had to wait um for a battery to charge that time it might it'll probably take twice that especially I even with the um the difference in how far you can go yeah on a charge you know because well, yeah I if you can go even if you can go twice as far if it doesn't I if it takes twice as long to charge it's gonna take the well i see it, it will it take the same amount of time i guess but but the r reality is you can't go it, it can't charge twice as long as filling up it, it takes way longer than that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think electric cars, like, yeah, there were a lot of people talking about, but they're not the end all be all of conservationism. Right. I think, like, one of the things that would really help is, like, more grants for, like, people to get solar power in their house. Oh, yeah. Or, like, solar farms wind farms, things like that. Yeah. And, <coughs> and like, you know, if we could convert to using solar and wind power more and relying on, like, fossil fuels more, that w less, then that would really cut down on the pollution. Yeah. But I think, like, like, what they say where, like, it's irreversible by 2035 or whatever. Yeah. Like, I I, I think that's true. Like, yeah. Because I took, one of my classes in college was on, um, environment, was, was basically pollution science. Oh, interesting. And, like, um, We, we did a bunch of units on how, how all of this, how, how, um, global warming was being created and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, did, did I tell you that we have solar panels at my house now? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, and basically... It um, it's enough to power our house like completely during the day, at w mm -hmm. and and some extra. So um, we we purposefully made it so that um, it would it would do almost o almost self sufficient um, during certain seasons. Obviously, there's always going to be a minimum charge for power bills. So it's actually not any more efficient uh, monetarily to get um, to get uh, you know more at that at a certain point. Um, so you know we, we get as close as we can and um, yeah it's been working quite nicely. Our our power bill has been like way less like a lot yeah. less it's been really cool i i uh, helped my friends mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Oh, i was just gonna say i i helped um dad pay for him for it because i had a lot of cash in the bank that i could liquidate really easily um and so i basically wrote a check to the to the solar company um for the for a significant discount on the rate because I could pay f because we could pay for it in cash, um, and they even gave us some like credit on on payments uh, for like digging the trench for the uh, power conduit ourselves and digging the mm -hmm. the holes for the uh, the pylons for the rack that it sits on. Because we don't, we didn't put mm -hmm. it on our roof because we have enough land that we could just put it, f you know, f kind of far out on the other side of our driveway from our house. Right. Yeah. 
been nice. It's been really nice. Cool, man. Yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> and, and actually, my we were. Oh, sorry. Continue. You, you. My <laughs> friend Sam's uh, mom has solar panels, and he told me that like she gets a check. She gets like a rebate from the power company every month or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, cause um, if you produce more than you take, um, they they are like required to buy the power from you. Oh wow. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. Um, we we actually got uh, a system that if we if we wanted to, we could eventually make it like. Um, completely grid independent mm -hmm. uh, there are a couple ways you know a couple different versions of of the solar panels and um, one of them is to have uh, a, a system where if you had like battery packs uh, you could set it up to be completely grid independent it's really cool mm -hmm. so if if battery technology gets good enough someday we might be able to but the reality is these only have like a like i think it's a 10 year lifespan and mm -hmm. um the battery packs are like you know less than that or something like that so and, and they're they add a huge amount of money the the batteries are stupid expensive mm -hmm. and like okay if the batteries are gonna die sooner than the solar panels are you know, is it really worth it? I mean, we have generators still, so if we needed to, we could supplement with the, with the generators. So it's not really mm. it's not really that important. Like if if the power goes out, for example, we can't power the house with the solar panels, but we still have generators that that do the same thing. So right. Did I get all this chimney? I don't remember. I guess so. Alright, I'm gonna do this front porch roof. Woo! I'm gonna do the front of the house, I mean. <laughs> Spot. Have you seen any good movies recently? No. <laughs> I haven't nice. seen a movie in a hot minute. Dude, I haven't either. I I was just talking with one of my coworkers today about like the movies that are in in the theaters right now, and like, mm -hmm. yeah, I've heard some good things about Maverick, the um, Top Gun movie. Mm -hmm. Um. I've also seen some good, or, yeah, seen, I guess is the right word. Good things about the Thor movie. Mm -hmm. um, I've also seen good things about, uh, what's the other one that there is right now? I feel like there's something I'm missing. There's another, there's something else that I heard good things about. I did see Maverick in theaters. That's probably the last thing I saw. Yeah? Was it good? Oh yeah, it was really good. I've never seen the first Top Gun. Yeah, I, I haven't seen the first Top Gun either. That's a, that's definitely on my bucket list for sure. What? Yeah, Bro, I wasn't even close yeah. to finishing yeah, that. Me neither. What the <laughs> heck? I had like a half of good. this. Dude, that was crazy. <clears throat> anyway, what? I'm not complaining. Yeah. We might actually be able to finish this tonight. I know. This big A mansion.
Um, yeah, I had a really good time with Top Gun. Good. Did yeah. you Did you see it with um, Joni? No, I saw it with my friend Gabe. Oh, Gabe, my man. Oh yeah, you know Gabe. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah, man, I played with Gabe. Yeah. <laughs> Also, so much more, but where? Do up there? Does the wall up there have the sound? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. Here. There you go. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, wait. It's not? No, uh, there's the, my wall down here, so it's dirty. Oh, okay. It's always annoying when they they have like dirt on the top of the window frame that they make you get. Mhm. Mm Why is it so picky on this part? Okay, thank you. Goodness. One of these times, we're going to get to the end, and we will not have missed anything. I don't believe it. Uh, maybe. Might happen. I appreciate your optimism. Yeah. Means a lot in this hard time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can't tell what's a shadow or what's me hitting the right button. Thank you. Well, Help me. Wh while I'm here. See if you can find what's dirty on this wall. The red one? Yeah. It's above the window. Above the window? Yeah. And below it. Thank you. Welcome. Which nozzle do you typically use as a regular? Yeller. Yeah, me too. It just cleans everything super well. And it's actually not that narrow. What? Bro, I wasn't even close. We take those. What is this one? Uh, gutter, my glasses. gutter railings times two and wooden trims times five. Alright, I got railing. Or I'm working on the railings right now. Um, wooden trim. Remember the railing right here. It's hard to get some of these little pixels. Yeah. Oh, railing, nice.
Oh yeah, I had that Valorant go y'all win. I haven't played Valorant in a hot minute. Eight thirteen, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Riff. Yeah, it is always annoying when there's a toxic person. Oh, we got the railing. Nice. All right, now we just need to find You're out welcome. the gutter. Oh. <coughs> All right. Wooden trims times five. Alright, just start uh, scanning around, try to find some wood trims. Oh, there's a wooden trim. Wait, where'd it go? Ah, oh, it's the underside. Yeah, we missed the underside of all these. Yeah, we sure did. Hey, are you sliding me? No, I'm making a joke because it was only me who did them. Oh. Oh, but I'm not seeing any. Okay, there's yeah. one. I don't know where the last one is, mate. <laughs> I don't know that there is any other wooden trim, man. Oh, wait. Oh, it's the Burned garage up. door. Yep, it's the garage door wooden trim on the top. Well, how was I supposed to get that? Man, I don't know. Here. What? <laughs> okay, that, that was generous. <laughs> huh. How far can you go in this neighborhood? Oh. Pretty far. Look at all these sparkling houses. Look at this sparkling house. Man, you remember the dump that this was when we started? Man, rest in peace the paw prints. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> They were so cute. They were. <sighs> Our next two options are... Gigantic. Yeah. Well, the other one... The shoe house is smaller than what we just did, but... Oh. Smaller than this one? one? Um... Well, I mean, we can start that if you want to. It doesn't. I guess so. Uh, past ten thirty. Okay. What time is it? Uh, ten thirty-two. Ten thirty-two. Yeah. 
Hmm. I'll get my watch. I should probably go to bed. Alright. That is fine with me. Thanks right. for playing. Yeah, this is always fun. Always a pleasure. Good talking about random crap. Yep. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, oh, wait. Did you turn this one in yet? Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch the time lapse. Yeah. Nice. Those are always satisfying. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty good one. You were the real star of it because you do the roof. Yeah. You know, I was thinking we should definitely do the backs of them, of, of whatever we're doing first, so that the the time lapse will show, like, the uh, everything getting cleaned at the end. But I'm addicted to doing pathways first. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> So, yeah. If you put a pathway in the back of the loop, sure. Yeah. Well, how do we do it when we're doing a vehicle then? Uh, well, yeah, that's true. I guess we don't know where the camera is first. All right. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Think too much about it. Overthinking. Power wash simulator with Matt. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will. Uh, well, I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll catch you later. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Oop. There we go. All righty.
situate it here. go all right it's a little weird not hearing my voice I've got um, that controller has the ability to hear um, what's going through my mic um, so wh whenever I use it I I enjoy I enjoy it because I get the the immediate feedback in my head instead of just like the muffled what's in my brain sounds. Doggo's chewing on a on a bone. <laughs> <laughs> Since you can see all of my shoe collection. Hey Coco. Hey Coco. Alright, what should I play? What should I play next? I don't know. I, I'll do whatever. I'm probably not gonna stay up a ton longer because I I need to I need to get some sleep. I need to catch up on sleep. I've been going at it hard for the last a lot of days in a row. Like work eight to five every day and streaming. I will be home alone until Thursday night. I think. So I've got the I got the house to myself until then. But I've got I've got something tomorrow night. I've got something Thursday night. I don't think I have anything Friday night, but like I, I have stuff for the next couple nights. Not like super late, but um like tomorrow I should be home by eight. Tomorrow I'll be able to come home not tomorrow. Thursday I'll be able to come home and eat and then I have to leave again and go to I'll be out until probably 9.30 cause my rehearsal ends at 9 but um, yeah I have plenty of leftovers although I ran out of hamburger buns that's unfortunate. I've got like two leftover hamburgers and I don't have hamburger buns. Yeah. And I also ran out of sweet tea. I drank, well, I, I didn't drink it all myself, but I had, <laughs> just don't bring me those like pretzel buns or the sesame seed ones or whatever they are. Uh, I just like the straight like potato roll buns. I'm kind of picky about my burger buns. Um, I I also I, yeah I ran out of sweet tea. My mom made like two pots before she left, and then I drank. Yeah, it is an L for real. I I drank. I pretty much finished the first pot of it. The first day they were gone. Well, my niece also drank a lot of it. She had like a, two cups by herself. But I think I'm I'm pretty sure I drank all the rest. I uh, I drink a lot of sweet tea. <sighs> there we go. There we go. That's a little better. And you can see you can see Coco and me. Me 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 me. Yeah, I know I can make more. I'm just lazy. And I probably won't be eating dinner here tomorrow I'll, I well actually I don't know that for sure I, but I, I hopefully will be eating dinner here Thursday I still have a couple hot dogs left I ate all the barbe leftover barbecue that I had I'm basically living on leftovers right now it's not that I can't cook it's that I my, my parents abandoned me with like loads of leftovers I had I had like Four or five hamburgers and like seven hot dogs and like a pound of barbecue and what else did she leave me? She left me something else too. Maybe taco meat? 
like a good amount of taco meat. I don't I don't know that I ate the taco meat though. Yeah. Yeah, I do need to use them up cuz yeah. <sighs> I'm actually kind of hungry now. I only had one I had one hot dog and some Doritos for dinner. I always hate myself after eating Doritos though. I eat like half a bag and my my mouth just ends up like raw and like dehydrated. Bro, you're nocturnal now. This is actually nuts. If you want to um we can uh we can hang out on the server for a few minutes and and you can work on your bedroom. Oh, I'd be down with that. I can help you mine it out. Oh, yeah, food is important. All right, in that case, I I might just uh, I might just call it a night. Um, I'm pretty tired, dude. It's amazing when you pull like three hour streams or something. Like your legs when you stand up next feel like they've been like haven't been used in years it's actually kind of crazy thank you I will have a glorious sleep I'm sure this one's probably going to sleep on top of me as she usually does she usually sleeps on either at the foot of my bed or like she takes up a whole stinking bed she has to have her legs all the way on the mattress so she can be stretched out and like I get like a little tiny L-shaped bit on the very edge of my bed and she takes up everything else. <laughs> kind of funny. But sometimes she'll wake up before I do and she'll like hop off and go sleep on the floor. So then I get the the warm bit that was underneath her and then I get the entire bed to myself. It's really nice. Dude, yeah, I should just toss her up on the top bunk. You know, if I could if I could get like a staircase up there, uh, she might actually do that. Top bunk's a little smaller though. But then I would have the entire bed to myself. My niece is super excited because um when she goes back home, when Coco goes back home, um she's probably just going to sleep out of her kennel. And so my niece really wants her to sleep on her bed. So she's considering it training so she can sleep on Catherine's bed. Yeah. She's so excited. She's like, and I'm, I'm like, girl, you've got a small bed. She's going to have to, she's going to take up like almost all of it, like literally half of it. And I said, well, but, you know, Catherine's also short, so... If Coco takes the foot of the bed, Catherine can take the the head of the bed with the pillow, and then they'll just be snuggled up together, and it'll be fine. Yeah. Any idea where Camo was tonight? I mean, he he just said he wouldn't be on, but I didn't I didn't inquire anything past that. Is a game? That's a that's a good call. I wonder if there's a NFL game on. Let me see. Uh, game. NFL game today. Preseason. Um. Free schedule. Thursday. No. Um, go away. Let's see. I don't. I don't think there were any today. Shouldn't be basketball. Yeah, I don't know. 
Cam, if you're watching, you suck. Yeah, probably family. All right, thanks for joining, Donny boy. It's Arcist. It's uh, it's always nice to have somebody in the chat to actually interact with. It makes me feel like a real streamer. Although, did you see? I got I got a first um, I got a first tweet from or first chat from somebody tonight. Yeah. Anyway, good night. Yeah, soccer, soccer dude for real. Yeah, I asked them a question, a follow up question, and they didn't respond. So I don't know how they, how long they watched, but yeah, I, I, I don't care. Hey, I this is like the second stream in a row that I've gotten a first uh, chat from somebody, so I'm pretty happy. And uh, soccer dude for real actually followed. I didn't realize that. That's uh, that's pretty nice. Yo, hey, that means I'm up above twenty followers. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't even notice that they followed. That's really sad. Darn it, man. I should have thanked them. If you're still watching, thank you for the follow. Um, but yeah, momentum is good. I'll take it. Yo, I'd love to be a content creator. I'd love to, like, get my, I think I would be a better streamer than actual, like, YouTuber. Because I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm better at, like, interacting with people in the moment than actual, uh, Got a random. I just got a random Xbox notification. Hold on. But yeah, I'm. I I feel more comfortable doing live streams than actual content creation. It's hard to talk to nobody. It's even harder to like do something at the same time. Wait, is that a Discord notification? What is that? Oh, it is camo. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> um Yeah, oh Cam Cam is actually editing a video right now. See Camo Camo is better at editing than I am. Like he actually makes really good content. Whereas I'm, I feel like I'm a better streamer. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd I'd love to be a streamer. That'd be a lot of that'd be a lot of fun. I still think about some of Camo's uh, videos and and laugh. All right, have fun eating your lasagna. Bye. Hey, Camo, welcome to the chat. I was about to type the message, but hey, since you're here. <laughs> yeah, Cam, I'm excited about your next video. I was actually just telling Arcus that I feel like you're a better video producer than I am, but I I feel more comfortable doing streams because of the, like, the actual real-time interaction that happens. It's a lot easier to talk to people, even if you 
aren't like even if it's a one-sided conversation it's a lot easier to have a conversation than to make a video like solo yes i know i i actually got two follows tonight while i was streaming one one is jacob that we play with and the other one was a soccer dude for real whoever that is that's pretty cool they actually chatted earlier it was one chat message but they they said my dog was cute so shout out to shout out shout, shout out to coco <laughs> But yeah, Power Wash, uh, Power Wash Simulator was fun. We missed you. We treated it like a podcast. We just talked about a whole bunch of random crap. It was a lot of fun. What were you doing tonight? Probably playing tennis. Yeah, it is. It's it's mindless, other than you know, making sure you clean stuff. BJ Compsi people. Oh, oh, like, like who? Like, um, I can't even think of any names right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't get invited. I'm offended, but I'm also a music guy, so I guess that doesn't. I wouldn't be. It wouldn't be a computer science party if I were there. I'm jealous. You should have told me. I would have said to say hi for me. I like those guys. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. They're like really into like the um. It's like Dungeons and Dragons or something where you make little figurine things and. Stuff. Oh, single player games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. Also, I was going to ask, does my mic sound okay tonight? Is it clear? Is it dropping out or anything? Because I, I did have to change some devices and, and some settings. Okay. I might go back and listen to it later, too, just in case. What kind of single player games were they talking about? Do they do like I don't even know what they would be playing. Oh wow, that that's obscure. If you don't even remember the names of them. Apparently Lane and uh Don did a Valorant earlier. Do they really? Do they all have jobs doing software development? Uh, no, they lost 813. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I can set up like um the gifted and stuff. I, I don't even know how to do that. Is that through Twitch? Three minutes and 13 seconds. That's a rip, my boy. Five minutes is a, is a nice length. I remember... Do they still have a, like a minimum limit for how... Um, how long it has to be? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, 10 minutes for full monetization. Bad callouts or wrong callouts? Because there's a difference. Also, my screen is like supernova bright tonight. This is actually crazy. Wrong callouts? Really? Was he doing it on purpose? That's super annoying when they do. Also, did I leave my flip flops out? 
Oh, I sure did. Huh. That's not bad. Who are you playing as? What map? We need the details, Arcus. Give us the details. I suppose we could look them up if we cared that badly, I suppose. Oh, split. 10 and 17 as his KO is not bad, though. Is, it, is he technically an initiator, I guess? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. So I got I yeah, that's pretty good. It's better than I would have done. I I don't even get the double digits a lot of times, so <laughs> and I haven't played Valorant in a hot minute. Man. Just watch, it's going to auto-play something. Oh, no, it didn't. Uh, Camel, what, uh, what other clips are you, have, or what clips have you used so far in your video? Oh, that's right, the act did end, didn't it? Rats. That's a shame. Yeah. Oh, so he went down. Because he was silver, wasn't he? He was silver one. Or was he silver two? I don't even remember what he was last time. I know he was in silver. Okay, down with the eggs. <laughs> down with the eggs. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, you should get the... There's also a Vanguard clip on uh, Desert Siege where you had a nasty flick. I think it was even a 1v3 that you won. Um, in fact, I think it might be posted on my YouTube. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you already upload that one uh, inside of an edit? Yeah, the, yeah, the cam is actually a nasty one. Yeah. Cuz I was going to say that's a pretty good one too. And I think we <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think Nathan said that's fine on that one too. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Nothing wrong there. <laughs> oh, I I always like your edits, Cam. Oh, words, nice. That takes so long to do, though. You're you're crazy. I, I mean, I think it worked just fine, though. What is this? No, not that. Wait. Honestly, I didn't even notice that you didn't use uh, words last time.
Oh, you have Premier 2 done? Arcus? I wish I had some better editing software. Because I use... I've always used Mo Movie Maker, and it's like... Really bad. Premiere just blows my mind. I don't think I'd be smart enough to use it. You still have a student discount? What? How? Bro. Huh. Oh, I'd love to learn. That'd be pretty dope. That's true. I could come over after tennis. I don't have I don't have anywhere to be well I do have to let the dog out though. What's Premier Rush? Is it like the light version? Oh, that's true. Is it cloud-based? Or do you have to download it? Also, hear me out. Can you have multiple copies of it on different PCs on the same account? Hmm. All right, all right. I'm adding you guys to my auto host list on Twitch, by the way. That's true. I should just let you do the editing. I mean, you basically use my videos anyway, so. I should send you my Minecraft video to to edit. Cuz I I I think I finished recording for one of them today. But I I'm just never Yeah, so you know, um there's a there's a Twitch feature where if you're offline but someone you play with a lot is online, you can have it um host the the other channel so everybody that tunes into your channel will also be sent to their channel yeah so if you're ever streaming while I'm offline um, if someone it, it'll show that I'm live and show your stream um, yeah so I set up I set that up for camo and and you because I did that when cam when I was at cam's house and we were doing uh, Lego Star Wars at his house. Yeah, it's it's just an easy setting to change. I was gonna try to find a way to get. Um, do you have to be a um, <clears throat> what's it called? Uh, brain a twitch um affiliate in order to get uh, in order to link like monetary stuff with twitch yeah that's kind of what i figured streaming tools Twitch. 
Studio. Your rewards. In game loot. Interesting. No copyright strikes. Followers list. Whew. In the last 30 days, I've had almost 50 hours streamed. Bro, I've been killing it recently. That's nuts. 36 unique viewers. 10 unique chatters. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I guess I do still play on Saturdays. Average of 0.7 viewers, though. So. I did get six followers, though, in the last 30 days. Where did my views come from? 10, let's see, 45% are existing followers, 23% are searches, and 14% are other channel pages. Interesting. Oh! Three views from channels. KD is dropping. What? KD. What's KD? External, 49 views, 48% direct, 2% from YouTube. Oh, weird. Oh, you know, I bet that's from the... Dude, these analytics are so much nicer than the than the YouTube ones. <laughs> Hundred and seventy views from the United States. Four views from the UK. One from Bolivia. One from Canada. One from Costa Rica. One from Spain. One from Israel. One from South Africa. Incognito <laughs> VPN. Uh, I wouldn't put it past you. You would. Oh my goodness, did you for real? Well, now they don't show dislikes anymore, so. <laughs> Don, did you know he was doing that?
Oh yeah, obviously it was like high school, early high school, but still. <laughs> That's so funny. Bang. Ouch. Oh, by the way, Cam, did you see that Tarek joined Sentinels? He still haven't gone to eat. <laughs> Alright. Bye, Arcus. Yeah, he said something like he wasn't going to be on the team, but he was still going to probably, like, trash talk them when they did poorly and, you know, critique them. He said he'd be down to be a sub, though. So he'll he'll probably be a sub if somebody has is sick or gets hurt. Bye, Arcus. I probably won't be live for much longer, so see ya. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I I, I just saw the, the YouTube video uh, earlier today. Anyways, Cam, I'm probably going to go to bed so I can actually get to bed at a decent hour unlike every other night recently because, you know, I've been streaming for 50 hours. <laughs> Have fun editing. I hope it turns out well. Well, I know it will. Who am I kidding? Um, see you tomorrow. Uh, I feel like there's something else I was going to say. I'll text you if I think of it. All right. Bye. Go! Yeah.